Hi all, this is Alan with Bothell STEM Coach, and today we're looking at the number six question in the 2019 AP Calculus BC free response section. And so, um, uh, as usual, if I have any mistakes in the video, I'll put them as, um, uh, I'll, I'll update the description to have any mistakes that I made in the video, as well as uh, I'll update the PDF solutions, um, also linked in the description below. So a function f has derivatives in all orders of real numbers of x. A portion of the graph f is shown above, along with the line tangent to the graph f at x equals 0. Selected derivatives of f at x equals 0 are given in the table above. Write a third degree Taylor polynomial for f about x. So the third degree Taylor polynomial is going to be f of 0 plus f prime of 0 x plus f or plus 1 half f double prime of 0. Uh, x squared plus one sixth third degree derivative x cubed. Okay, so I have to know what each of these are. f of zero, so f of zero, I can look on the graph, it's equal to three. f prime of zero is the slope at this point, right? This slope looks like it goes over, ooh, what does it go over? It goes down four and over one. This is not super obvious. Oh no, uh, down two over one. Sorry, down two, so negative two. Second derivative, and then second derivative and third derivative are given right here. So this is gonna be three minus two x plus one half, one half times three is three halves x squared, one sixth f double prime, so that's or f triple prime, that's minus 23 over 12 x cubed. I think that's right. Double check I made all the correct the correct values, negative two, uh, one half of this is three halves, and then one sixth of that. Okay, good. Uh, so that's that. B, write the first three non-zero terms of the Maclaurin series for e to the x e to the x is equal to 1 plus x plus 1 half x squared. Those are the first three non-zero terms. Um, so e to the x f of x is approximately equal to, uh, um, so I want the second degree, so I only want to go up to x squared. So I'm going to do 1 plus x plus 1 half x squared. And then here I'm also only going to go up to x squared. 3 minus 2x plus 3 halves x squared. Okay, I don't need the extra terms because higher order terms are going to drop because I'm only doing a second degree Taylor polynomial. So this is equal to, the constant term is 1 times 3 is 3. The x term is I have x times 3 and then I have a 1 times negative 2, so minus 2. And the x squared terms, I have a 1 half times 3, so that's a 3 halves. I have an x times a minus 2x, that's a minus 2x squared. And then I have a 1 times a 3 halves, that's plus 3 halves. And so this is um, 3 plus x plus 3 halves plus 3 halves is 3, minus 2 is 1 plus x squared. Okay, so this is the first three terms, box that in. Those are the first two terms of that e to the x. Let h be the function to find h of x is equal, so for c, h of x equal to the integral 0x f of t dt. Using the Taylor polynomial found in part a to find approximation for h of 1. So if I'm going to integrate, I'm just going to add a derivative of this and just add an x basically when I do 0 to x. So it would be 3x minus x squared plus 1 half x cubed minus uh, 23 over 48 x to the fourth. And so um, put approximately equal there. So h of 1 is approximately equal to 3 minus 1 plus 1 half minus 23 over 48. This is 2. 2 plus 1 half is 5 halves minus 23 over 48 times 24. 24 times 5 is 120. This is 97 over 48. Okay, and then D, it is known that the Maclaurin series H converses to, converges to H of X for all real numbers of X. It also known that the individual terms of the series are alternating series and sign and decrease in absolute value to zero. 
Use the alternating series error bound to show the approximate valency differs from h of 1 by at most 0 0.45. Okay, alternating series means that, so I use this approximation, right? So in order to get for an alternating series, the error bound is bound by the next value in the, in the series. So what's the next value in this term? The next value in this term would have been looking at, uh, well, I used all of these already, so I need to look at the next the, the fourth degree term here, what would the next term of here have been? It would have been 1 24th f fourth derivative at 0, x to the fourth. And so this portion equals 1 over 24 times 54, right here, given here, um, x to the fourth. So um, to simplify that, that would have been um, dividing by 2, I think I divide by 6. This would be 4 divided by 6, again, 9, 9 fourths x to the fourth. So the next term in my Taylor polynomial for um, f of x would have had that. So that means the next term in this series would have been the integral of this one, and that would have been 9 over 20 x to the fifth. Right? This, is the, this would have been the next term. So the next term, so my error bound, is less than or equal to the absolute value of the next term, which is 9 over 20th, um, 1 to the fifth. And that's equal to 9 over 20. And that's equal to 45 over 100, which equals 0 0.45. OK. So hope you found that helpful. Um, let me know how you did in the comments below, or if you have any questions, or if you pointed out um, any errors or mistakes that I made. And I'll see you in the next video.